Osaka, one of our favorite cities on this planet that's vibrant, laid back, and is home to some of the best street food in Japan. Get excited, because we're gonna open your eyes up to the incredible experiences that this Osaka itinerary has to offer. This is what we have in store for you. Let's start this action-packed Osaka itinerary at Shitonoji Temple. It's said to be one of the oldest temples in Japan dating back to 593 AD. Sadly, it was burnt down and rebuilt a few times, but nevertheless, it still reflects the original 6th century design which will make you feel like you step back in time. The 5-story pagoda and the main hall are also very impressive. You can even climb up to see the view from above. A short walk from Shitanoji Temple is Shinzakai, which translates to New World, but over time, this area got stuck in the past with minimal redevelopment. But that's what makes this place so interesting. You'll find a ton of eateries with huge signboards lining streets just like in Dotombori. At the center of it all is Tutankaku Tower. You can head to the top for a feed to catch a view of all the lights and excitement from above. As you wander around, you'll come across old Japanese storefronts and arcades which gives you a glimpse of what life was like in the early 20th century. We also stumbled upon mysterious black gachapon here and our curious minds got the better of us because we wanted to know what they contained. Let's just say they're black for a reason and definitely not kid friendly, so keep under 18 away. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Beware of the black gacha. Shinzakai is also famously known for kushikatsu, which is a special deep fried skewer that originated in Osaka. Definitely give them a try while you're in the area. For the best view in Osaka, you have to make your way up to Haruka's 300. You won't believe where we're going now. Oh, I'm puffed out. Wow. On a helipad. It's really unbelievable how much we can see. The air up here is like so fresh. At 300 meters high on the rooftop helipad, this is the most incredible panoramic view of Osaka. Oh, and be sure to duck into the toilet. The men's restroom with an amazing view. While you're doing your business, this is amazing. After the sun sets, end your day at Team Lab Botanical Garden, which is a short train ride south of central Osaka in Nagai Park. The geniuses behind Team Lab have done it again, delivering an astounding digital experience to your senses. But this time, all of the exhibits are outdoors and located inside a huge botanical garden. Since it's an outdoor experience, make sure the weather is favorable for your visit. I love how you can do this outside. It's a totally different vibe to Team Lab indoors, just being in a garden outside and experiencing this. This is so much fun, I could fall asleep on one of these. Spare a whole day for Universal Studios Japan because this theme park is a must-see in Osaka. Guess who we bumped into at Universal Japan? Konnichiwa, it's Johnny. Karina, check out Johnny Day. <laughs> It's home to the world's first Super Nintendo world, and if you're a big fan like us, this can't be missed. Travel through the green pipe and into this. You'll literally feel like you've teleported into a Mario game. To make the most of this area, you need to get yourself a power-up band so that you can take part in all of the experiences Nintendo World has to offer. Like infiltrating Bowser Jr's lair, playing mini games and interacting with the real life blocks. This is important though, due to its popularity and limited capacity, we highly recommend checking the USJ website for entry requirements. You really don't want to rock up to find out you can't go in because capacity for the day has been breached. That would be devastating. Of course, Universal Studios also has other fun areas like Jurassic Park, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, Minion Park, and many more. Just beware of the Jurassic Park ride as you will get wet. Tiny little bit wet, just a tiny bit. We had a shower. The lady was like, where do you want to sit? And the boy's like, in the front. Oh, no. <laughs> go, 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 go. 
<laughs> also be sure to keep an eye out for the special events that happen at USJ as well. They often have collabs with animes like they had recently with One Piece and Jujutsu Kaisen. You can see our video on the top right corner that we covered on the hugely popular Jujutsu Kaisen collab. If you're around during September, October, you must see the Halloween Horror Nights. It's absolutely terrifying and insanely fun at the same time. We've got a few other ideas for those who aren't theme park nuts like us. Osaka is the perfect base for day trips within the Kansai region. All under an hour to get there by local train. You could head east to Nara where you can feed free roaming deer, see some amazing temples and eat some delectable food. Also, did you guys know that Nara was once the capital of Japan before Kyoto? All the more worth a visit. Kyoto is also a short trip from Osaka where you can see Japan's most iconic attractions. If you're heading there on a weekend, make sure to take the Kyoto train Garaku, the only train in the world that has a Zen garden. And the best part, it only costs $3 to ride all the way to Kyoto. Although we'd probably recommend spending more time in Kyoto, we also know that not everyone has so much time to spare in Japan. So for more ideas on what to do in Kyoto, check out our video on the top right corner. If you're a bit of a foodie and have Kobe beef on your Japan bucket list, head west to the city of Kobe. It's a beautiful harbor city and easy enough to do within a day. Also, be sure to pop into the breathtaking new Atoa Digital Art Aquarium that's guaranteed to make your jaws drop. Phew, that's a lot of day trip ideas. We hope that inspires you to visit at least one of these amazing cities. If you're wondering where to book some of these Osaka attractions and activities, we highly recommend Kluk. For the most part, we found them to be cheaper and you avoid the hassle of queuing up at the venue. See the description below for all the activities. A unique and new place to stay in Osaka if you're on a budget is Ninja and Geisha Capsule Hotel. The capsules have gorgeous Japanese art pieces inside and the lounge area is even more impressive, giving off Kyoto vibes. For a full tour of this hotel, take a look at Andy's overnight experience in the top right corner. We'll see you in the morning, fam. Good night. Kick off your third day at one of the most iconic castles in Japan, Osaka Castle. What I love about this place is that it has all the iconic characteristics of a castle. A huge moat, high walls, watchtowers, and an awesome looking castle in the middle. The gardens and huge space surrounding the castle are also beautiful and well worth exploring. We're heading over to Dotombori for the rest of the day because this is the beating heart and soul of Osaka. If you've ever wondered where in Japan the place with ridiculously huge restaurant signboards in the shape of octopus, crabs and dragons can be found, it's right here. There's so much to see and do here. Take a stroll along the riverbank and soak in the views, go for a ride on the quirky oblong shaped ferris wheel at Donkey or take a selfie with the iconic Glico Man. For some retail therapy, check out Shinsaibashi and Ibisubashi shopping streets which have all the big brand shops lined with even more eateries. The arcade is so long it feels like it never ends so be sure to allocate plenty of time to explore the space. This is also where you'll find the hugely popular Pokemon Cafe in Osaka, where you can enjoy Pokemon themed food and drinks and witness Pikachu do the cutest little dance. While you're exploring Dotombari, you must make a stop at Uncle Rikuru Japanese Cheesecake. If this isn't on your Osaka itinerary, then we're gonna be sorely disappointed. You won't find this in any other city. As soon as you bite into their fluffy, heavenly cheesecake, you will be in absolute bliss. Oh my god. It's so good, I wanna cry. Wander to the edge of Dotonbori and you'll find a cool and popular area for youth culture, America Mura. This area is home to some of the best streetwear stores, super hip cafes and eateries. As the name suggests, you'll kind of feel like you're in America. Next, have you guys ever fished for your own dinner at a restaurant? Head to one of the craziest restaurants in Japan for dinner, Dao Fishing Restaurant, which has gone viral for its unique dining experience. Brace yourself because you'll have to grab a fishing rod, a net and some bait to fish your own dinner. Once you've made your catch, your victory will be celebrated across the whole restaurant and then the chefs will cook it up however you want it. It's great to do as a family or on a date night for something a wee bit different. If you haven't passed out from all the seafood, make sure to head back to the Dotombari Strip and Riverbank to see that night. It's a whole different vibe when all the signboards are lit up. That sums up our ultimate Osaka guide. We hope it's been valuable in planning your trip and that you'll love Osaka as much as we do by the end of your visit. Please give this video a like and smash that subscribe button for more Japan itineraries and fun travel videos. See you in the next one. Let's <laughs> go.